Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to do a foam project. A couple of weeks ago, I bought an action camera. And when I opened the case, I was surprised to see that there's absolutely no foam padding in this, uh, in this case that they give you for your camera and all of the goodies that you buy. So what I thought I'd do today is show you how to do a quick project in light burn, lay it out so you can have a nice foam insert in this case. You'll be able to drop in your camera, your batteries, the battery charger, the clip, everything you need, and that way you can carry it around and it'll be safe. One thing I will tell you that you want to make sure that you take care of is some foams are not safe to laser. Be sure the foam that you use is safe to laser. There's a number of YouTube videos out there that will give you the process to ensure that you know that the foam you're using is safe. If you use foam that's not safe in your laser, it's very dangerous. It, it emits uh, caustic gas that can harm you and your laser, so please be careful with that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to measure up the goodies in this case, we're going to lay it out in light burn, and then we're going to cut it out on the laser. I'm not going to take any time at all. It's a fun project and it's one more great way you can use your laser. Let's go check it out. Okay, so this is what I've got uh, laid out here. This is a picture of a, the layout that I want. This I'm going to use just purely for reference so I can describe to you what I've done. On the left hand side here, this is going to be our, our layout that we're going to cut out of our foam. And so let me describe to you how I approached this. The first thing that I did before I loaded all these goodies in this case is I took a pick, or excuse me, I took a measurement on the bottom of this case uh, width and lengthwise and I built a rectangle that matched that dimension. Then I laid each one of these um, accessories in the case to see kind of how I wanted to have it laid out. Put the uh, camera here, the batteries here, the battery charger, the uh, bolt and the uh, magnetic clip at the top and I thought that was a pretty good layout so that's uh, what I did so then at that point I took my calipers and I measured the camera length and width and built a rectangle <clears throat> and placed it here centered it uh, between uh, the left and right uh, basically in the center of this rectangle and the best way to do that if you just click uh, what you want centered first and then select the rectangle you want it centered in and come over here to the center tool and click that that'll make sure that that small rectangle is in the middle of the bigger rectangle okay then I, I uh, measured the batteries the same way length and width built some simple rectangles once I got one built I duplicated it and brought it over here did the same thing with the battery charger, length and width, built a uh, rectangle. Best way to do that is get it close and then come up here and you can dial in your measurements. You can turn your lock off so you can go ahead and get uh, exactly the width and the height without the aspect ratio giving you fits. Um, this is a real quick way to build whatever you need to do is just uh, measure it with your calipers, put in these numbers, and then... Uh, fit your rectangle where it needs to be and once it's the dimensions that you want go ahead and lock it up. Same way with the clip and then you notice uh, this bolt head is quite a bit bigger than the shaft of this bolt so what I wanted to do is I wanted to uh, build it and the best way to do that is with two different rectangles. What we're going to do is I'm going to jump into the node edit process right quick and show you how to merge these two rectangles together. It's real easy to do. And you can't node edit a rectangle in its current state. It has to be converted to a path. So if I select this and go up to my node editing tool, you notice that it doesn't give me any nodes to edit. And that's because um, it's a shape and it needs to be converted to a path. So the easiest way to do that is to come up here and go to edit, convert to path. And now you'll see my edits. I'm going to do the same thing with this other one. Come up here, edit, convert to path. And now when I select them, I can go ahead and um, start to input and delete uh, nodes. So the first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to hold my cursor right here and I'm going to uh, type I on the keyboard. 
to install a node right there because I'm going to get rid of this line, this line, and these two lines. So I need some nodes to be able to do that. And I'm going to insert another node right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete that uh, node in between. This one here, this one here. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to come up here and insert a node here, insert a node here. I'm just uh, typing I on the keyboard. And I'm going to come in and hit D for delete. And at this point, the only thing I've got to do is join these. There are still two specific rectangles, so I'm going to join them together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to deselect. I'm going to select them all. And I'm going to come over here to Tools, excuse me, Edit, and Auto Join Shapes. And now it's all one vector. Then I'm going to go ahead and select my radius tool. I'm going to go ahead and put a tenth of a uh, radius on it. So I've selected my radius. I put in a tenth for the measurement. I'm going to come in here and select that. And we're just going to go around the corner here. The heck, we'll do these two. Put an eighth of an inch uh, radius on the rest of these. And that should do it. So now we've got our layout. We've got everything combined and joined. If we take a quick peek here and preview it. Cut the inside first and the perimeter. And we should have a nice foam liner for our camera. Let's go to the laser and cut this out. Okay, I've got the design loaded and we're ready to go. This is a half inch foam. I'm gonna cut two pieces out and glue them together. This is the only foam that I've got. So that's what we're gonna use. And uh, here we go. piece of this, pull it out, and you can see it is clean as it gets, beautiful edge, let's pull these others out. And there, I'm going to cut one more of these out and stack them one on top of each other. And we'll have a nice little uh, foam setup for our GoPro case. Yeah, settings uh, six uh, millimeters per second at 60. Well, as you can see, it made a nice foam insert for this uh, carrying case. Um, one correction, I indicated uh, earlier that this is half inch foam. It's actually three quarter inch. My apologies, it's two, two pieces of three quarter inch foam. But you can see as we put this stuff in here, man, it just drops in there nice. It fits in there perfect. The camera goes right in here. Fun little project. Hope you guys enjoyed the information. 
If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.